Rainwater, it's the giver of life and central to what we grow. Whether you're keen to harvest rainwater to save money, water your crops more naturally, or to do your bit to conserve this precious resource, we've got you covered. So let's dive straight in. More and more areas are coming under severe water stress, meaning higher bills for treated water. You might think that problems such as drought and over-extraction are problems confined to areas like the American West or Southern Australia, for example, but this is a global problem. In the UK, for instance, just 14% of rivers are in good ecological condition, the demand for water only exacerbating the situation. So it makes sense to save as much treated water as we can, and saving rainwater for use in the garden is a great way to do it. At its most basic, water collection starts with anything capable of catching and holding water. A more effective method is to use a tarpaulin or other waterproof surface slanted at an angle to feed into a collection vessel. Setups like this can harvest a surprising volume of water and are a handy way to make the most of downpours. The collected water can then be used to recharge a rain barrel and it's a good solution for getting water to growing areas detached from any buildings, such as allotments or community gardens. An easier method, of course, is to use roofs. Whether on a house, greenhouse, garage, shed or outbuilding, roofs make fantastic, ready-to-go rainwater collectors. And the bigger the surface area, the better. The surface area of this roof here on this outbuilding is roughly twice that of my greenhouse over there, which means that any water storage device I connect to the downpipe is going to fill up twice as fast. You can work out the rainwater harvesting potential of your roof by multiplying the area of the roof that will be doing the collecting by your average annual rainfall. About a quarter of this total will be lost to evaporation and rain bouncing off the surface, so multiply this figure by 0.75 to account for this. Let's look at an example. The half of my greenhouse roof that sheds to this rain barrel comes to an area of around 60 square foot or 5.5 square meters. We get around 32 inches or 800 millimeters of rain a year, so that means this half of the roof could yield up to 900 US gallons, 975 imperial gallons or 3.4 cubic meters of water. That represents roughly a third of typical water use for the average garden, so that's not bad. Nevertheless, it's worth collecting from as many roof surfaces as possible, especially those with larger surface areas like a house roof. That's because there's next to zero chance of drawing down all that water with perfect efficiency. Will I be watering the garden in the winter when most of the rain actually falls? Probably not. So how we store the water we collect really matters. The usual option is a rain barrel or water butt connected to a downpipe by a rainwater diverter and hose. These typically come in at around 20 to 60 gallons or 100 to 250 litres, which may sound like a lot, but it's easy to get through that during a dry spell. By linking multiple barrels together using overflows, we can store more water for use in the drier months. Raise the barrel onto bricks or blocks like this so that you can easily get a watering can underneath. Then there's the question of bugs, which you don't want to get into the water. So to keep them out, you just need a tight fitting cover or some sort of mesh cover that goes over the top and keeps things like mosquitoes and other bugs out. This will also keep leaves and other debris from getting into the water and clogging up your barrel. And that will mean cleaner, clearer water. Aesthetics aren't always a priority, but there are plenty of decorative options too, such as repurposed or replica whiskey barrels, terracotta style barrels, metal drums or personalised barrels. But what if you really want to up the volume of rainwater that you're storing? Well, you could stack barrels or use multiple slimline harvesters that fit snugly into corners or against walls, or go large, very large, by repurposing an IBC tank. IBCs like these come in at around 250 gallons or a cool thousand litres. The costs for them do vary dramatically, so make sure you shop around and fit the tank with some sort of cover to exclude the light so the water doesn't turn green and the tank lasts for a little bit longer. Just like any other rain barrel, you can fit an overflow at the top 
so that as one tank fills, it fills the next, and therefore you can have a series of tanks and really, really up the volume of water that you're harvesting. Bear in mind that while rainwater harvesting is almost always legal, some regions, especially drier states of the US, can impose restrictions that are a bit of a headache. In Colorado, for example, you're limited to a measly capacity of just 110 gallons. Regulations are constantly changing, of course, so check restrictions local to you before designing your setup. While rainwater is best for plants, stored water poses a minor risk to human health. Contaminants like bird droppings, insect larvae, midges and bacteria may compromise the purity of the water. By all means, irrigate crops with your collected water, just exercise a little common sense. Aim water right at the base of plants so it doesn't splash up onto the foliage. Maybe leave it a few days before harvesting salads if you can, and of course, thoroughly wash any produce that's come into direct contact with the water. Rainwater is beautiful stuff, it really is. What are your plans for harvesting rainwater? What setup do you hope to use and how much do you hope to collect and store? Pop us a comment below to tell me all about it. Pop this video a thumbs up as well while you're at it. Do subscribe if you haven't already and remember to turn on notifications so you're not missing out. I'll catch you next time.